How's everybody doing today? Uh, I haven't made a video for a while about the Delphi case, but I thought I would change that today because there's something that I want to kind of clear up here, and that is that I don't think that Ron Logan had anything to do with this crime despite the initial uh, FBI search warrant from March 17th, approximately a month after the crimes, back in 2017. There's a lot of people who think that Ron Logan was a good suspect. The FBI initially, uh, in their affidavit, stated they thought he was a suspect, but there's some things that don't make any sense at all. Um, you have a 77-year-old man who, I mean, is he going to have time to track down two girls, drag them up gigantic sloping hills that, I mean, you got to remember, Liberty German was like 180 to 200 pounds. She was not a light teenager, with all due respect. Um, and then you have a second, you know, child in Abigail Williams, and he's going to drag both of them up there, take all that time, which takes time to stage a crime scene, go all the way back to his property, like a quarter mile away, frantically change, dispose of all of his clothing, and then drive all the way out to Lafayette, Indiana, which is like a 20 or 30 mile ride to go to a pet store and get out there by five o'clock PM, which is approximately what is received. I mean, come on, let's be realistic. Not to mention, since then, the cops have put out a younger sketch saying the person was between 18 and 40 years old. Logan was 77 years old. 77. So, obviously the cops didn't think it was Logan after some time either, otherwise they wouldn't have put that sketch out years later. Uh, just, just think about, you, you gotta logic these things out. Uh, also, how dumb would you have to be to do something like that on your own property? I mean, knowing that you're on parole already, the guy ended up going to jail for a parole violation because he went to the pet store. Um, he's dead now because I guess he died uh, either earlier this year or last year of COVID. I forget which. But the bottom line is here, the, the more you really look at the evidence, uh, the, the, Ron Logan, there, there's no possible way that he did this. Now, could somebody he knows have done this? Sure, but like if that's the case, why would he ask the relative that was there with him, which is probably the only other person that was there with him, to lie for him. Um, <laughs> I just, uh, I, I don't get the people who say that Logan did this. The only reason that the FBI issued that affidavit the month after was because they were doing their due diligence and it's real easy to make a person look like they're guilty if you're the FBI in order to secure a warrant. Um, they just probably wanted to know what was on his property or you know if there's anything they could have found. Uh, the, again, there were a lot of search warrants, I'm sure, that were served just based on evidence or circumstantial evidence. So just the fact that they found the bodies on his property is probable cause enough for the warrant to begin with. But the FBI, when they write these things, they have to make it look good for a judge so that the judge will actually grant them this warrant. So, and also, if you commit a murder, do you think the first thing you'd be doing is like traveling to the store afterwards? Uh, it just doesn't seem like the kind of behavior somebody who would murder two good, two wonderful young girls would engage in after the fact. Uh, again, let alone do something like that on his own property. I mean, you'd have to be a complete idiot to do that on your own property, knowing that the night before, you know, you got all these people searching for the girls, and then the next day, it, it, he, I'm just, of course, they, there would have been zillions of cops descending on his property, and he would have known that too. It just, again, Sorry for being so long-winded. Ron Logan being involved in this or being the killer just does not make any sense, especially in light of what we know about the Keegan Anthony Klein information, the fact that he was known to have spoken to her uh, the day prior to, or the day of, I forget which, of the murders uh, on social media. So there's a reason why, even to this day, four and a half years later, five years later, they're still going down the Kagan Klein rabbit hole and asking for people for information about that specific person and the interaction with the Anthony Schatz profile. They don't just throw that out there to the public five years later on a whim. And I don't think that they leak all this information on accident either. Obviously, they wanted the public to know that they were looking at Klein for some reason. 
So for them to have, and again, leaks this big, like all these affidavits and other things, they don't happen if law enforcement doesn't want them to happen. Um, you can see how tight-lipped the investigation's been for the last five years, how little we truly know about what happened at the crime scene. They've done a good job of kind of zipping it up. So the fact that these were, quote, leaked to the murder sheet, I, I, I just, I, I think there's a reason they're wanting us to look at the Kleins, and I think that we need to kind of hone in and focus on that even more. And in another episode here, I'll get more into how disgusting I think it is the, the way that the Kleins have reacted to this situation, including Tony Klein, I guess, you know, saying some really derogatory things about the police uh, after he was interrogated by them and things like that. So, you know, that, that's not how somebody would normally react that's a decent human being when police come questioning them about two girls that were murdered. So, at, at the very least, the Kleins... Uh, seem like they're just real POS human beings at bare minimum that are involved in some really, really bad things. But uh, again, to reiterate, uh, I think the cops are steering us toward the Kleins for a reason. Now, whether or not they did it or they were involved or they know who was, I think it's one of those three things. Uh, I really do at this point. And only time will tell how long it takes them to kind of tie up all the loose ends because... But there's there's just a a puzzle piece or something missing here right now. Thanks everybody and have a great day.